So today we are going to take you through how to do a tear duct flush in a rabbit. So we've got a 24 gauge cannula, we've got a little bit of sterile saline to flush, and we've got our proximetacaine as well. So we're going to put our proximetacaine into the eye just to make it a little bit more comfortable for them. And you can see in this rabbit we've got a kind of fair degree of um, epiphora and dacrocystitis, really quite a, a swollen eye. We want to be seeing if the tear ducts are patent or not. So we just allow that to work for a few seconds. Now we'll have done a full ophthalmic assessment in this guy as well. So we're only going to be using the plastic part of the cannula. And what I normally do is I put my finger on the top eyelid, use my left hand, because I'm right handed, just to pull this lower lid forwards, not down. So if you pull it down, it occludes the tear duct um, opening. If you pull it forwards, what you can see is you can see that, that tear duct opens quite nicely. So there's a little black hole down the bottom of there. If you pull it down, it occludes it, but pull it forward and it opens it up. And we want to place our cannula directly into that little hole. We then want to flush it. So we've already done culture and sensitivity in this rabbit, so I can just go straight away with flushing. And in some instances, it will pull straight out of the side because, shock horror, we've got an obstruction. But I normally do about five mil and I just gently pulse it. So I'm just using my thumb just to pulse that and rock the cannula backwards and forwards. But unfortunately, this is not flushing at all. If it was flushing, it'd come straight out of the nose. But this patient has a blocked tear duct and we want to be recommending going down the route of doing some investigations to try and figure out why. Okay, so we're going to place our topical local anaesthetic into the eye. Um, this patient doesn't have tear duct disease. So we're going to um, pull the eyelid out rather than down. So if we're pulling it out, we're not occluding that tear duct. We just place our cannula straight into that tear duct, hold that in place, and we want to just give a little bit of a gentle flush. And you can see it's coming out of his nose. So that's what should happen when we've got a normal tear duct. And he's, he's eating it, that's nice. There we go, all done.